Okay, Josh and I laid out the, the wool blanket on the table here. We created, we folded it in half to create a seam so we could get uh, the double side of the patterns, laid the patterns out, positioned them so we could get the most amount of material, and uh, then started marking. We took a piece of chalk, artist chalk, sharpened it up, helped each other hold the pattern in place, went around, marked all the patterns where they're going to be doubled. We set the little pieces off to the side where we need a single layer, and uh, now we're pretty much ready to cut it out. Okay, all of our pieces have been cut out. They've been ironed with a cloth on top to take the wrinkles out where it was folded up and packaged. We've done a dry run on how the pieces are going to lay out on the table here to orient ourselves with the steps we need to do. Uh, we've got the front figured out, how it's going to go together here and how everything is going to come together at the end. So now we're ready, trying to get the sewing machine ready, get the silk thread in it, and we're going to start sewing the uh, sleeves to the back. And we'll follow the directions that they've given us using the tick marks right here. Keep those lined up. But before we do any stitching, we have to we have to line all the tabs up here, the alignment tabs, and we have to pin everything together. Or we can stitch it. We got these two side panels uh, sewed to the front. We went to work on the pocket. First thing we did was put a half to five eighths hem three sides of the pocket, laid it on here and, and laid out where we wanted to have the opening for the top. So we come in three inches on each side, come down eight inches for the depth of the pocket, nine inches for where the hand, hand opening is going to be right here. We left the bottom undone because this is going to be a fold and a hem here. So we'll stitch up here and create a pocket for, the, for your hands on the side eventually. Then we'll work on the flap. The flap will go on up here. That's pretty much what we've done on the front panel. Okay, the next thing we did was get all the three panels ready to sew the hood. We uh, got those in line, turned it, did it inside out. Got a nice looking hood now with a nice seam on the top. And we made our inside thing for the drawstring, and that's going to get sewn on next. Okay, we got the we got the uh, front ready to go here. We made a, a double piece here, sewed it on so it's double thickness. And now we're setting the uh, the eyelets here. We're laying this out, cutting through. Using a retainer ring on here. seam ripper takes the problem out. This was caused from tension on the bobbin. And once we get this taken out, we can re-sew it and it'll look just like this one. Well, Josh, it's done. 
It's not perfect, but it's very functional, very stylish. We've got, we've got uh, professional seamstresses, but I think we did a really good job. And, uh, can't wait to see it on it. Yeah, it was a good project. Yeah. 